Well, the number of new coronavirus cases in Duval County is quickly growing, and so are the numbers statewide. 23,000. That's how many new COVID-19 cases the state of Florida reported in the last week. But the week before, there were fewer than 16,000 new cases. Yeah, so Joy is joining us now with a closer look at the latest numbers from the CDC. And Joy, I know you also spoke with a local expert who says these numbers could mean another surge soon. Kent Mary, he says that's possible, especially after this past holiday weekend. He also says we need to hear and heed the warning these new numbers show us. I think there's something happening and it's not good. Local infectious disease specialist Dr. Mobin Rathor has seen the numbers. The positivity rate in Florida, measuring the percent of people testing positive for COVID-19 for the first time, shows 7.8 this past week. The week before, it was 5.2%. Some of the models are indicating that by the end of August, uh, we are going to probably hit a peak of this, what looks like a new upcoming surge. With people gathering and celebrating the 4th of July, Dr. Rathor says be prepared for another surge in positive cases. The percent of Floridians ages 12 and older who have had at least one vaccine shot still stands at 58 percent. But with the growing spread nationwide of the more contagious Delta variant, Dr. Rathor says the threat can only be eradicated by having more people vaccinated. Listen, if you think Delta variant is bad, the variants are only going to get worse. They're going to get you know, more serious, not less serious if we don't get a hold of this uh, uh, epidemic. Drug maker Pfizer announced it plans to seek FDA approval for a booster shot, what would be a third coronavirus vaccine in its series, to better fight the Delta variant. But shortly after that news broke, both the FDA and the CDC, in a rare move together, said publicly Americans do not need boosters yet and that it's not up to private companies alone to decide that. I think Pfizer needs to make the product. FDA needs to look at it and make sure it's safe and effective and approve it. And CDC gets to make this decision whether this vaccine should be used as a booster or not. Dr. Rathor says only time will tell when or whether another shot will be needed as the government and health specialists learn more about how the vaccines hold up and as they learn more about the coronavirus itself.